Welcome back to Sweet Kitchen Skills. Today we are playing with gold powder. What kind of table I'm using, you can see in one of my previous videos. So, put the tape inside your mold. Make sure it's really, really tight. And of course, your molds are perfectly clean and they are polished and they are at room temperature when you use them. Here it's tempered cocoa butter and gold powder from Pavoni. Just mixed together. I don't really uh, put a weight on it, it just mixes together until I think the color is perfect. Put it into my spray gun and I start to spray a thin layer into my molds. On half of the molds I uh, even apply some dots with gold. Apply some black tempered cocoa butter, some black splashes or dots. And of course it's easiest to use a toothbrush for that. And of course they are tempered. Let them crystallize. I do that at 16 degree in the fridge for about 10 minutes. Put them on the table at room temperature, which is about 18 degree, and then apply black tempered cocoa butter. And again, it's not a very I do the same with the molds where without the splashes, without the colors, it's just the mold with a thin layer of gold powder. And now I put the black cocoa butter on there just to, to make some different des designs very easily. I apply a little bit more of the black color uh, on the other half just to see the difference. It's really up to you how much uh, color you use on there. Be before the cocoa butter crystallize, clean the molds. It's easiest when you put the silicone sheet underneath the, uh, your the kitchen towel and then just wipe. Be careful because you don't want to take off the, the tape. Then Perfect. carefully Perfect. remove the stripes. Yes! Already here, you can see the difference. Gold spray at the bottom. Take a closer look. And then you just put tempered white chocolate inside your molds. The molds need to be at room temperature, which means 18, 19, 20 degree, not colder. Your chocolate, this is white chocolate. I always put 10%, at least 10% cocoa butter in there. And then I will temper it. Gives you a nice and liquid uh, chocolate, which has about 44, 45 percent cocoa butter gives you a very nice and shiny uh, surface remember to hit the sides of the mold remember to remove air bubbles everything is important remember not to work in a room which like I do my room is like 23 degree warm you really need to work fast hit the sides of the molds and then empty 
hit the sides of the molds again until the chocolate stops running and then you scrape. Then you take your molds inside the fridge for 10-15 minutes then you cover them up and leave them there overnight and if you want to put fillings inside you do that the next day. I just want to show the designs. Fillings will be, uh, will be coming soon as well. So scrape, nice, make a nice and sharp edge, put them in the, in the fridge, let them cool. And then, yeah, the next day you have beautiful, very shiny chocolate bonbons. To the, to the left, you can see that one was sprayed with the gold powder. Also uh, on the stripe to the right, you see it's only the white chocolate. I hope you like this video. Remember to subscribe, please subscribe. 73% of the people watching these videos are not subscribing. So uh, it's a lot of work to do these videos. I really would like to continue. So please subscribe. And thank you very much to those who already do. Look at these very nice, beautiful bonbons. And next time I will show you at the end of the video what I will show you next time. I will play with the same colors, just a different shape.